How do you picture Mary? Is she vibrant, beautiful, young woman with long flowing hair? Is she dressed in fine clothes, surrounded by gold? Perhaps you have seen her depicted before in paintings or stained glass windows with the holy crown around her head, holding the baby Jesus. Or maybe you watched Bible reenactments of her played by an adult actress. But who was the real Mary? The real Mary was a teenager, a young woman, and by her own admission, a humble servant, plainly dressed, perhaps indistinguishable from the crowd. Even though we don't exactly know what she looked like, we can tell a lot about her by her actions and her words. Mary calls herself a lowly servant, and her words for God are great, holy, and almighty. At first, these words seem to emphasize the vast difference between herself and God. But as we look more closely, these verses actually show how God draws her closer through Jesus. They tell us that the great, holy, almighty one is close to Mary, pays attention to her, and cares not only for her, but for everyone like her. This is good news, hope-filled news for all of us, because what uplifts a lowly servant uplifts each one of us. What brings hope to a poor young woman like Mary brings hope to every person. They say that everyone, all generations, will know that this distance has collapsed and will celebrate with her. They will call her blessed. It is true that we have called her blessed and that she is given great attention and honor today as a mother of Jesus. But have our depictions of her really portrayed who she was? Or have we changed the story? Mary's lowly state, her poverty, her ambiguity is a vital part of the account. Mary's opening words, my soul magnifies the Lord, remind us that we are all created in God's image to live, reflect and magnify his love to those among us. And those who put their hope and trust in him will never be put to shame. They too will be called blessed. Mary's humble confidence in God's promise delivered by Gabriel gives us hope. She says, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. Let us be like Mary and humbly put our hope and trust in the Lord and his promise.